Thank you for attending the training on the Business eTouch CRM Contact Manager section of our website. We're on the dashboard page here now. You can see that tab is highlighted. We're going to click on Contact Manager. And when we first come into the Contact Manager page, it opens up all of your contacts in alphabetical order. You can see we had 3,602 contacts here in my system. Now from here, I can do a search for any of my contacts that I would like. So if I wanted to do a search for Mark Montgomery, the name search is works on any combination of letters. So I could type in M-A-M-O-N-T and it'll pull up Mark Montgomery. If I wanted to do a search for just M-O-N-T, it'll pull up every contact that has an M-O-N-T in their name. So, you know, real sophisticated search. I can also do a search by the email address. I can do a search based on any information that's in my contact manager. These fields that you see here are all the custom information fields and all of the basic information fields. So real nice deal there. If I want to do a search by state, I could type in everybody that has Montana and do a search and it'll pull up every contact that has Montana. So real easy to do that. You can also do a search by group. First I want to get the Montana out of here so I'm getting just a pure search for my groups. And I can click on any group that I have in here and it'll pull up a list of everybody that is in that group. So a real sophisticated search system allows you to search for anything, especially this search fields. It is really powerful. If you just, as an example even, if you just remember the name of, you know, or like how tall somebody was or, or, or something you happen to write in the notes field or something like that, you can do a search for that and pull that contact up. So uh, really a, a sophisticated tool for the uh, search fields. Okay, from here too, when you pull up a, a contact, let me go back here to my, well, again, I'm in the IMO here. Okay, so now when I pull up a contact, I can click on that contact's name and it opens up all the information that I have filled in about that contact right here. Okay, now you can see I have just some gibberish typed in here where it's showing information that I had filled in. But we only show information here where you filled information in. Okay, I'll click on this other one here and you can see it doesn't show hardly anything because I haven't filled anything in here so it's not showing it. So we don't show you a bunch of blank fields. We only show you information where you filled in information. Okay. So here, and from here, you can work this contact. I can send them an email by clicking on their email address. I can call them. Now I have the click to call feature, so I can just click on their phone number and it opens up a window and I can have that person's phone ringing within two seconds. A great feature with click to call. But if you don't have click to dial, of course, you could just dial their number. I don't bother putting dashes in the numbers in here and stuff because with click to call, it doesn't matter. But if you wanted to put dashes in your numbers or anything like that, you can do that. We allow you to format it any way you want. Okay, we also can see what groups they're in. I can see what uh, appointments I've sent with them. Uh, now here you see this says none, but I'll go in here real quick and I'll just set an appointment really fast in here and set that appointment and now you can see that it shows that appointment that's been set and I can click on that appointment and it opens up that appointment window or I can click on add appointment it opens up a new appointment and I can also enter in any notes that I want uh, in the system and it will uh, show those notes and put a date and time stamp on them. So you can really work your contact right from here. And of course, you can look and see, oh, you know, I sold this guy this policy or whatever, because any information you fill in will all be down here. So this is uh, the view field of the contact manager section. Now, if I wanted to edit any information in here, I can click on the pencil next to their name or double click on their name, either way, 
it will open up this edit window. And from the edit window, I have a list of all my groups. So I can add them to as many groups as I want. It doesn't matter. They can be in more than one group. Or I can take them out of groups. I can also, uh, of course, add any information I want in here. Add that in. And now that would show up when I uh, open the page up. From here, I also have contact to the custom information. I suggest you watch the training on custom information area. You can uh, really uh, learn a lot about that. It's a great, great section. I can also click on appointments, see every appointment that I've set with this contact. Now, these appointments show here whether they're pending or completed. They will always show here in this appointment tab. And of course, you could click on add an appointment and add a new appointment from here if you wanted. You can send a drip email to this individual contact, where you can send an individual drip email, which is just one email scheduled at a future date to go out. You can also send a series of emails to this contact. It asks me for a date as to when I want to send it. I can just choose that date, click OK. Now all those emails got scheduled to go out that fast. I'm going to click on Delete here. And you got to type in Yes to delete anything out of the system. So now I've deleted those. I can also open up the email tab here. And from here, I've got an inbox that shows every email that that customer has sent to me. And I can also go to the sent box and see every email I've sent to that customer. And from here, I can click on the email. And it'll open that email up. I can forward it or reply to it. And I can also open up the view window if I wanted. And just type a note in here real quick if I wanted to about that email. And of course, I can open up a new email box. Notice the address is already in here, and I could send them an email if I wanted. Okay. I can also send this customer a text message. Now notice, this is saying no cell phone number, so you can't send a text message. So I'm going to go back to the basic information, and I'm going to enter in the cell phone number. And you notice I put dashes in there. And I'm going to choose my cell phone provider. So now, when I open up the text chat window, you can see that the text information is in here. And so now I could go down and I could type a uh, message in there. OK. Now I can click Send, and there is that message. Isn't BET great? Okay, uh, And there's my sent message. If I were to reply to that message, that reply would come right back in here in this box. And what's cool about this is uh, you know, it saves these messages forever. So if you got a text message that was important, you wanted to make note of it, you could just click on Custom Information. And it will open up your Notes tab. And you could type in a note telling you you got an important message. And you could save that note. Now you have a date and time stamp note about that important message in the Text tab. And you can also save documents here. And we allow you to go paperless. We give you 100 megabytes of storage. So you can save a lot of documents in 100 megabytes. And these can all be stored right here. You can upload files and documents into this page. And you can open them up and read them. If you do hit that 100 megabytes of storage, we do allow you to put an embedded code and save the embedded code from any online storage company. So you can also use other online storage companies and link Business eTouch to that document. So you can still always open up that document from your Business eTouch program. And you would just set that up in the custom area, custom information. So this is uh, the information on the individual contact screen. From here, you've got your basic information. you got all your custom information. You can go in here and, and fill out information about the policies you've sold them or, or whatever it is that you, uh, you want to do. Uh, you've got a record of all your appointments. you got your drip emails. you got a record of every email. And you've got a uh, record of every text message. And you also can save documents. So, Really a, a nice feature here. Also, from this page, you can create a new contact, which opens up a blank contact window. 
you can import contacts with and there's I just suggest you watch the training on importing contacts from a CSV file but this is where you would import them in. Doesn't matter if you have 100 or 100,000 contacts, you can import them all into the system. You uh, also can generate a website form that you can put on your website. This is really cool. Watch this section down here. As I click on these fields that I want to put in my form, that uh, f section just continues to grow. Okay? And uh, I put any information I want in here. Now I've, I've built my form the way I want it. So now I can put in a title and we'll just say get a quote. So I can title that form. I can put it in any group I want. I can assign it to any group that I want so that that lead will import into this group. I can put colors in it so I can create the form and make it look any way I want it to look. Okay, so I, I got my form all set up. Now all I have to do is click Get Code, and I can copy this code, paste it, and paste it right into my programming of my website, and it will create this form here looking just this way, and then that information will import into your uh, contact manager. And of course, if you set up the drip email or anything like that, we're going to have drip email going out to them. Uh, with an autoresponder and you also uh, of course we send you an email telling you that you have a new lead as well so really nice feature with the website form and then also you can import email leads into your system and from here each person is given a their own lead email address and you would give this lead email address to your insurance provider who sends you leads or your lead company who sends you leads whoever that might be and those leads will import directly into the system and this just helps you set up that system for it and I suggest you'd watch the training for this on uh, email lead setup so that you can uh, do that properly so that's it for the contact manager uh, training I appreciate you taking the time if you have any questions don't hesitate to give us a call we uh, be happy to help you in any way we can thanks a lot and have a great day